Shalom. Like to say all praises due unto Yahweh by Hashem Nawashir, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. My name is Karnawak. This is a quick lesson. Um, hopefully, it's not going to be uh, too long. But uh, this is the Koshan Jews and uh, the Dugla people, or the Coolies, the Sri Lankan Moors and Baghdad Jews <coughs> all right that's what I'm gonna title this lesson Lord will and I'm um, gonna flow in the spirit um, this is a uh, Kanawak from GMS Toronto I also have another uh, YouTube channel GMS Yasha Allah Banyamin and uh, GMS wisdom and meekness and I also have an Odyssey account GMS Yasha Allah Banyamin on Odyssey. Uh, you could subscribe. You know, the algorithms is all messed up, you know. Um, you know, he, he's, uh, he's sabotaging, you know, my a lot of my posts, you know. I might post and I'm not getting as much clicks, but, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. But, you know, um, hopefully this uh, wakes up you know a lot of our people you know who are scattered you know because we are we're scattered all right and um let's get Deuteronomy like 28 all right this is not a black or white thing it's a nationality thing all right Deuteronomy 28 and verse 64 and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other and there thou shalt thou shalt serve other gods which thou which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone all right so our people are worshiping different idols all right you know Cesare Borgia you know Hindu uh, Islam, you know, um, Rastafarianism, not you know, a whole bunch of different philosophies, man. What our uh, our people are uh, are practicing, man. All right, but uh, the Lord's only coming for His elect. All right, because we're scattered, man. Um, you know, um, you know, there's a lot of information, you know, of our. Uh, the Jews, you know, who uh, migrated, you know, some of them were indentured servants, you know, who came to the Americas and established themselves, you know, so, um, you know, because um, I, I, I went to, uh, when I was, I went, I, like, when I went to uh, college, you know, there was a, there was a guy, um, he's very, uh, He's like a coolie looking guy, but he had a different spirit, man. Like that was my brethren, you know, like, you know, and um, also, yeah, there's a, yeah, he had a whole different spirit, man. And um, um, my, this is just my train of thoughts. So like the early morning, but uh, there's, you know, our people were scattered, man. You know, uh, you no know, Nicki Minaj, you know Dara Mirage, you know. Um, I guess she's from Trinidad, but her father, you know, he really migrated from, uh, you know, from Jamaica, you know, and um, you know Super Cat, you know. Um, he's, uh, you know, he's a Douglas, right? And there's a lot of Douglas, you know, in Jamaica and and, and like throughout the world. You know, and um, and the Maraj, you know, family, right? Who who were uh, merchants, you know, in India and uh, Portugal, all right. And um, you know, I have uh, cause uh, my mom, 
you know, when she was in Jamaica, she grew up with a lot of Maraj. So they had a lot of Indian type like cuisine. And um, and I woke in and, um, you know, years ago, a couple of years back, you know, like probably like five years ago, I was doing some work and um, there's a guy, you know, he's like a fresh, fresh from yard, a uh, guy, um, you know, it's cool and, you know, and then um, I found out, you know, that we connected, you know, because, um, you know, when I was young, I, I went to school in Jamaica, you know, um, you know, you know, like back and forth when I was younger, you know. Um, the last time I went was when I was eight, but, you know, but uh, now, you know, with this whole restriction and certain things, it's kind of hard because you, we, we, we see what Esau is doing, but, um, you know, uh, my brethren, he got married and I was in his wedding, in the wedding or whatever, right? Because he, uh, you know, so he could get his papers and make sure he's good, but, um, you know, he's a mirage, so... You know, I, um, you know, so it's real, man. So this is uh, the Koshin Jews. Koshin Jews, also known as like the Malabar Jews or the Koshin Jews from Hebrew. All right. And then there has the Syrian Hebrew. It says, um, are the oldest group of Jews in India whose root that are claimed to date back to the time of King Solomon. It said the Koshan Jews settled in the kingdom of Koshan in South India. So even, you know, even before, right? The time of King Solomon, you know, our people were going back and forth from India, you know, back to the land, in the Holy Land, you know, because, uh, you know, this is when Solomon, you know, we had the 40 years of, of peace you know and he was and solomon king solomon was the wisest king you know of all the people on the earth right of all the kings of the earth right he's well known for his wisdom um you know this is uh the Koshin jews um you know I said I share this link, uh, the story of the Jews in Koshin, no, the story of the Jews, the community in Karla, all right, and um, there was a, hint, there, like there's a, a a rapper, his name is uh, what's his name? Uh, like the Miss, you know, he's a UK rapper. What's his name? Miss. I think his name Miss. All right, but uh, you know he's Jake, right? But uh, he incorporates a lot of his lyrics, certain things with um, you know with the you know with um, the Jews who are scattered throughout India. All right, um, Carla, you know Punjabi type, you know rap, you know with um. You know, you know, even though they're off, but um, then I also there's another guy, um, what's his name? Yeah, like, um, like there's a guy named David's been here, all right. This is when, uh, this is like a blogging video, um, this is for cooking. You know, and uh, it shows you our people have a different spirit, man. We're, we're, like you know, like we're the salt of the earth, man. And um, you know, you you know, cause we're scattered, you know, you know like we, we can't judge a book by its cover, man. And um, our people have different spirits, you know. Like when you uh, when you're monks, you know, like the uh, so-called coolies or the Douglas. You know, they have a whole different spirit, man, flavor. You know, they love to incorporate the, their uh, food, you know, with, with uh, you know, all kind of different spices and stuff. 
uh, I shared the link this is a good video you know to watch and to cook because I also like to cook you know you know um, let's go what else it says um following the it says following 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 like their explode it says following their exp explosion no slack yeah <coughs> it says following their like their ex expulsion slack yeah. following their explosion from iberia in 14 92 by the Alhambra like decree a few families of Sephardic Jews eventually made their way to Koshin in the 16th century all right so we're scattered right so um let me uh hold on one second Yeah, this is a very good book. You know, the Koshin Jews of Jamaica. You know, and there's a uh, very in depth. All right, cause uh, my uh, uh, like my my like my grandmother. She uh, we were talking on the phone. You know, last week, and she told me that um, my mother's family, right? Cause my mother they're uh sephardic jews right uh who fled you know s fleeing from um who like who were who fled from the um you know like from the spanish inquisition whatever so a lot of our people came to the new world but uh my uh my mother right her father he he died but um but his father, so my great great grandfather, he uh, he came. He was living in Portugal, right, in the Iberian Peninsula, whether Lisbon or, um, you know, or uh, San Tome or wherever, you know, Azores or wherever. But uh, our people, my uh, my mother's side of the family, they uh, like they like you know like um like their lineage you know goes right back to portugal all right and they came to the new world you know to establish themselves all right but uh this is just uh page 48 page 48 the portuguese jews of jamaica by that like, mordecai arbel Right. It says uh, Jewish economic activities in the first year of the British conquest. It said the Jamaican Jews dealt with like commodities that were in their sp like in their special in their speciality in other location in the West Indies. In the West Indies, it says they dealt with like it says. So they dealt with Brazil wood, right? So that you know that port, like that uh, South America, you know, like Brazil. Like I have to change up this. Really. Yeah. So um, yeah, they you know like they dealt with you know that word Brazil. It goes back to the wood, like Brazil wood, right? Which was basically like a, a very good wood. You know for uh, for coal and a whole bunch of different um things you know and like that's why uh, you know that name like brazil is referring to the brazilian wood because they have a lot of uh you know good wood pepper cocoa and sugar it says they had a virtual monopoly on the vanilla in the vanilla and pineapple trade no, Slakia. They had made a 
virtual like virtual monopoly on the vanilla and like the pimento trade all right so um you know our people were doing all kinds of things right there was we were establishing ourselves and um you know because we were you know we were up in power you know until 1492 when uh you know you know like the kingdom of granada fell you know spain and um a lot of our people excelled yeah a lot of our people pretty much left and um some of them you know like went to holland some of them went to uh you know to the americas and uh you know vice versa one second Just, oh yeah, I think, I think Monopoly. It says Monopoly. Monopoly. All right. So when you, you know, I remember when I was very young and stuff, I used to love to play Monopoly. You know, like with my family. You know, it was like three or four of us we used to play, and then. You know, I didn't understand the importance, man, because, you know, these are uh, these small hats, you know, like, you know, like they like they got a lot of their inspiration and knowledge, you know, from us. It says it says the. It says the exclusion, it says the uh, exclusive like position, like a, it says the. Hold on one minute. To change up this type of thing, you know? To change up this the music sometime. Alright, just to um you know for this type of lesson. Retailer. One Take second. You know, cause music is very good, you know, when you're doing certain type of lessons and just to study. Uh, just gotta get in this spirits lock here. Second. One second. Just got to get back in the spirit. Says um. Uh, says Monopoly. It says the exclusive. Um. It says the exclusive possession or control or or the control of the supply or by trade and commodity or services right so that's why our people always been you know trading you know you know like you know like from the beginning of time you know and, and um you know like that's why you know like we're mingled amongst these different na nations you know through trade and uh everything you know and that's why we eventually we fell because we're into where you know we're mixing up amongst the amongst the heathen um let's look at the etymology salakia i'm kind of just gonna um just for i'm gonna run this for like an hour or less you know 
This is uh, Adam Online. It says Monopoly. The, uh, Monopoly noun. 15th, like the, like the 1530s, exclusive control of a commodity or trade from Latin uh, monopoly, uh, from Latin monopolum, from old Greek, like monopono, right of exclusive sales, or from like monos, single alone. All right, that's where we're always been trading and you know and uh you know making profit all right uh, let's keep going um it says between four it's a between 1690s and the 1750s the jews of jamaica established commercial pathways with the spanish colonies in central and south america all right like guyana you know Trinidad you know you know so uh, you have to try the spirits right and um, you know cuz we're scattered right? and um, you know like that's why they our people call themselves um, Dogla you know all kinds of different different bywords let's go says the Dogla people all right, so even in uh, Jamaica, there's a, a lot of Douglas or Dougla, you know, who have that last name. All right, so the Dougla people are a Caribbean people who are mixed African or Asiatic Indian descent. The word Dougla or Dougla or Dougla is used through the Dutch and the English speaking countries. All right, then it says the religion. It says Christianity, Hindu, Islam. All right, so Hinduism, they're worshiping Shiva, you know, Kali, you know, you know, uh, Alat, you know, that moon goddess, you know, African American religions. And then uh, it says um, the word Dogla or originally from Dogla. All right, which is basically, uh, I guess it's like an Indian type dialect, which is like Caribbean Hindu's word that literally means two necks and uh, may, may means uh, many, much of mixed, right? And that's why a lot of our people, you know, Trinidad and uh, you know, and uh, Guyana and, you know, our people uh, have different types of dialect and they still practice it even in Jamaica too, right? With, uh, you know, with like the Dougla and, uh, and the Maraj family. All right, uh, so let's continue. It says, uh, it says usually with their, like, rela it says usually with their relatives who resided, there are new Christians, right? So the Christians, you know, were the Moranos or the Maroons, right? Who converted to the Catholicism, right? You know, because uh, we're being persecuted, you know, by, uh, you know, by Alexander, the Pope of Rome, the Borgia family. All right, so Esau rose back to power. You know, Revelation 20 and the one that goes into that. But uh, don't want to go into Revelation 20 right now. You could do uh, your own studies. Trade, trade was also set up with the commercial centers where Spanish Portuguese Jews were established such as Amsterdam and also the brothers you know you have brothers uh, you know who's Amsterdam Germany all over you know and, um, you know so like that's why it's a diaspora we're scattered through the whole corn corners of the earth I think Joe uh, James one and one 
all right to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad you know um greetings all right so we're scattered you know and that's why a lot of the the like the like potentially uh, like you know they're being woken up you know you know like from this dry bone from these you know from what you know because we were dead right ezekiel 37 the dry bones it says can these bones live you know because they are very dry but we're living now all right and um you could read that too you know but um let's go uh it says trade also trade was also set up with the commercial centers where spanish portuguese jews who established such as amsterdam geneva uh lehorn venice let borders right, which would be in uh, france north africa turkey and even india all right so that's why we're scattered man let's go uh get this i have a lot of history but I, it's probably not gonna um might have to do a part two um i have like a lot of uh on this channel there's a lot of videos in regards to the um the israelite foreigners you know from um you know from india you know they call themselves the, the city people um you know certain so, um the Koshin jews you know I ha there's a lot of i have a whole lot of old videos on this channel so um i probably send a one or two in the uh, like in the, like in the description let's get this um acts 20 acts 2 and 1 and when the day of pentecost was fully come there were at they were all of them with one accord in one place and suddenly there came all right because you know you know like there was a uh, like there was a basically like there's three times a year you know like we'd have to like go to the land of the land of jerusalem you know you know on, on like when we're in the land you know for uh the passover you know first fruits and uh and tabernacles the feast of tabernacles all right but um uh, eventually right when you read about uh, paul you know and uh and the apostles um you know there was a lot of israelite foreigners all right who uh who who are foreign who was living in different lands all right and a lot of them wasn't able to speak the fluent hebrew all right so that's why uh you know the heavenly father you know he used a like he used a rakakwadash you know to other speak where you know where they could understand right, and speak all right so uh let's go it said and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind and filled all the house where they were seated right so the apostles you know like they were you know like they were um you know like they weren't really uh learned men all right that's why when you read that on you know, the acts it says that they weren't really learned men all right you know but you know but yahweh shai was learned all right but his disciples were all right so um you know so uh the heavenly father he, he like he used the rakakwadash all right the holy spirit all right and and, and and they were able to speak you know in different tongues so whether they were in the land of india or elam you know um let's go let's keep going and they were so you know the holy ghost is not when you go to the church all right when you go to the church all right and um 
you know they start they they start spring dancing and start um basically that whole that christianity worship right that um that damn plantation christianity or whatever basically it's um summoning spirits right basically it's a kundalini spirit all right and uh you know like that's why people you know like they put you know like they get possessed they start foaming at the mouth and all that <laughs> you know so this let's go uh, says and there came and there appeared unto them clo cloven tongues like as fire and it sat up upon each of them all right all right so that's what's gonna happen again you know and uh so back then you know the heavenly father he uh he made it you know where the apostles were able to speak in different tongues and they were filled all with the holy spirit right the holy it says uh the tongue and they were all filled with the holy T ghost or spirit and began to speak with other tongues all right the tongues would mean language all right let's go Strong's G, 1100. Glossa. Glossa. It says the tongue, a member of a body or organ speech, the language or dialect used by like particular people. It says uh, distinct from other nations. All right, so that's why a lot of uh, Israelites were scattered, all right? And that's why... Uh, we're gonna go to get Hosea, you know, after. And there were and there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews Jew devout men out of every nation under heaven and uh Yes, like, and there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, all right, from, you know, Jews, basically, um, the house of Judah, all right, it's a devout man out of every nation under heaven. Now, who, now when this was noised abroad, so the multitude came together and were confounded because they, that every man heard them speak in their own language or tongue and they were all amazed and marvel saying saying one to another behold are not all these which speak of the Galeans all right because when the Lord was on the sea all right and after you know when the uh, after when the Lord he, he like he, he left all right and went back you know it's like to the father you know like um the, you know like the the two third that you know back then you know they were um very jealous you know the the scribes and the pharisees you know and um you know it says and how here we in every man in in our own tongue wherein we have been born um parthians the Midians, all right, and the Elamites, and in, in the Mesopotamia, and Judea, and Cappadocia, in Pontus, and Asia. So that's why we're, we're scattered, man. Phrygia, and Pamphylia, in Egypt, and in parts of Libya, and about Cyrene, and strangers of Rome, Jews, and proselytes, Crete, and Arabians, who had who heard them speak in in our tongue which was one it says that uh, Crete and Arabians we do hear them speak in our lang language in our uh, tang um, tongues that wonderful works of Yahweh and they were all amazed and were in 
doubt so they were in doubt because they weren't able to you know to dialogue all right because so you know like they were jealous you know the two-thirds back then man all right you know the whole uh scribes and the pharisees you know who uh who took you know like who took crafty that counsel against the uh, like against yahweh shai you know and the disciples and they were all amazed and were in doubt saying one to another what mean if this others mocked and said there's these men are full of new wine all right so they're like you know like they're like yeah like oh these people are drunk you know they're you know you know them you know because they weren't able to uh you know like to grasp you know so it's a whole jealousy thing man and uh this is off the portuguese Jews of jamaica um it says a more that precious picture of this of this commerce can be drawn from from an examination of trade by location i think madura which is they have wine ireland linen um that borders and bayern which like they uh, had silk and wine you know which was france goes all the way down if you have this book is very uh, on point it says in London the Jamaican Jews traded which like with the house of Benjamin um it says in London the Jamaican Jews traded like with the house of Benjamin Mendes the Acosta or Acosta all right so you know so there's a big trade right? or there's a big uh, basically our people were uh you know were uh bankers and trade traders you know so um you know but we are uh, we eventually fell you know and uh i come out of that that same stock um it says commerce with the island of the caribbean it, um uh, like kirkos saint Asin Sago, which were Dutch, and St. Thomas, which at the time were Danish and highly developed. They made the source of uh, profits, however, was to, uh, it was the so-called like Murano, that connection, which was the illicit or better semi-legal or commercial with the Spanish colonies. By studying the like you know it's a, by studying the commercial um, statistics one sees you know that the Morano connection right so from the Moranos you know who who were who converted to Catholicism all right because uh, the Spanish the Spanish Inquisition right and then uh, you know 1492. And then, um, you know, so I basically a lot of our people, a lot of our people converted, and then like some of them, like went to Portugal, which is right, it's 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 on the same island, the same uh, landmark. You know, it's all deep and in depth. Um, get the scripture. Probably like five more minutes and then I'm going to close. Where's King's? Yeah, it says uh, 1 Kings 10, 
verse uh, 13 and king solomon gave unto queen of sheba all her desires it's a whatsoever she asked it says beside that which solomon gave gave her of his royal bounty so she turned and went to her own country and she and her servants right so um you know she was amazed man you know uh when you read that when you read like uh like the josephus you know um if you uh if you have that book very good you know for uh a lot of uh a lot of history man all right because uh let's see You know, because, um, you know, Selassie or whatever, you know, they like to say, oh, he comes out of the line of uh, of Judah, you know, but uh, basically, uh, he's a damn Elamite, man, all right, and he wasn't our Messiah, all right, because, um, you know, because Marcus Garvey, you know, in the 19, early 1900s, you know, I guess he's born, you know, basically, you know after um the um like the uh, like the you know uh, like after like the abolition or it's like a, after the um basically slavery right and then basically uh because i remember when i was very uh young i had like a um when i go to the library over there when i was living in brampton i lived in mississauga then brampton i lived all over it the damn uh, GTA and, and and different places in Ontario, but um, basically, um, I, I, when I was probably in grade, maybe grade four or five, I would um, I got a I, I I for I think for the Black History right. I think the teacher like they were like we had to do a like like we had to do an assignment and uh, basically uh, I kind of uh, I, I think I did one with Tupac you know like a couple of years like grade six or so but grade four I uh, I I did an assignment you know about uh, about about Marcus Garvey you know so that's why um even my my name i have like a european name and then my mother's name right you know hyphenated right so when they see my mother's name they like what well, like because i have like when i always would say you know oh i'm portuguese you know i always say you know like i'm jamaican and you know and, and then portuguese you know i always would say that you know now i totally understand you know but uh basically uh you know like marcus garvey you know he was uh, like uh he's a philosopher and basically uh he, he he like he went to harlem and uh and he uh he had like a printing paper he had like a print you know and basically uh he was telling our people basically like to look to the east like to the coming of a new king and basically he tell and i guess he bought a like a, a boat whatever but you know but it never worked because uh, it wasn't that time all right and we're not going to africa you know we're going to the land of israel all right and um basically uh he died broke whatever and then i think he went to england he was born in uh i think saint andrew or um you know and uh basically uh yeah he came to uh he came to uh like he came in new york harlem you know and um basically i think the naacp which is run by the amalekites you know and basically uh they kind of ruled him you know black rolled him but basically with the Selassie when he came to uh to uh he came to Jamaica you know um you know like they indoctrinated our people because our people were looking and searching right 
but we're not supposed to be smoking weed wearing lot and not having long hair you know and all that because all that's heathenistic stuff man you know and then and like you're worshiping this guy like this guy you know like you know like they're not he's not the king you know you know you know but it's like you know but it's like that's a whole different thing all right well, this is our first kings 10 and 13 and king solomon gave unto her yeah because queen too you look at that word queen all right because that queen these damn uh, when you call yourself a queen or whatever you're basically a prostitute all right like the etymology all right not the quran the queen The queen. If you if you, if you look at that definition, this. Queen, right noun. Says the Middle English queen, a woman, a low born woman all right because a woman just means a servant all right low all right and then you know these queens are we're just damn uh when you call yourself a queen you're basically calling yourself a, a damn a, a harlot man a woman you know because uh you know like she didn't have no 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 king on the throne so you know what she's doing the same thing with with the second you know elizabeth the second you know you know, she was doing all kinds of things, man. You know, in her damn young age, you know, they call herself a damn queen. You know, but you know, the queen, you know, when she's young, man, she's look, she's looking nice, man. You know, but she was doing all kinds of shit. It says a female serf, a hazi, a prostitute. Yeah, so even if Solomon slept with the damn thing or whatever, you know, you know, you know, like, you know, like he, like he never probably breathed that bitch up. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna think slack it. It says a public woman, all right? So she's just a damn uh, a harlot, man. You know. Let's go back. Slack yeah. says uh first kings 10 and 13 and king solomon gave unto the queen of sheba all her desire let's look at no, i'm not gonna look at, whatsoever she asked i said it, it like it says but it said beside that which solomon gave her of his royal bounty so she turned and went to her own country because she's already established man you know and she's out there she and her servants now now the weight of the gold that came to solomon in in the one year was 603 score and six talents of gold and it says beside that he had of the merchantmen of the traffic of the spicy of, of uh, merchants and all the kings of and the kings of arabia and the governors of the country right? so solomon he had a big enterprise man and that's what we're gonna do again you know you know it says my father's house are many mansions you know let's go to the psalms too that's right you you heed you you devils and you heathen man you guys don't even know what you're you know it's like they already know but bro like you you know you guys could go live it up now because you see when we get the kingdom oh that's it you won't have that certain royalties or or privilege again man you know you know that we're gonna fucking enslave you guys and that's it you know 
a thousand years, you know, like you're gonna be out there, you know, like you're gonna be out this world, is e, you know, and then you other nations are gonna, like, are gonna be governing yourself after and follow our statues, man. Psalms 2 and uh, 8 Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Um, Let's go to uh, five. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. All right, Zion, which means a monument, right? You know, the 12 tribes, right? I will, dec I will declare... I will declare the decree that the Lord have said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have begotten thee. So the Lord, Yahweh, right? So Yahweh Shai, you know, he already said, he, like, he already told him, you know, that he's gonna, when he comes back down, you know, like when the Lord comes, you know, when Yahweh Shai comes, you know, he's gonna get his inheritance, man. All right, and then the elect, all right, the one third that's going to get their inheritance, right? I declare the decree that the Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son, this day I have begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. You know, and uh, that's pretty much, you could go into it. Um, you know, if you have uh, the Josephus, like the Nelson, super value you know josephus he was uh he's a scholar you know he was basically uh, during the time of uh 70 a.d you know he basically uh you know like he went back you know i think to rome or wherever and he and he wrote these things right in a book right of uh of the history of our people all right so uh he's a big time historian but this is, um, you know, when you read about um, Haram Abif, you know, where he is uh, the king of the Tyrians, or right, the Hamites, you know, because King David, he like he made a pact, you know, with, uh, you know, with Haram, you know, king of, of the Tyrant, all right, so, um, you know, there's a big, ex you know, because uh, there's a big, uh, basically, uh, you know, because they were navigators, you know, of the sea and stuff, right? and they came to to the, uh, and they came to the new world. So you go back into that, but um, I'm kind of running out of time and stuff and um, I tried to, uh, I have a lot more different things and a lot of history. So, uh, probably have to do a part two but uh with that let's just say praises due unto yahweh bashim yahweh bashim akakwadash the answer the apostle of great millstone peace and blessings to the hope of members of the elect shalom